Welcome back, and let's just discuss a little bit about the efficiency of the, the um, DC motor we recently discussed. So, DC motor efficiency. So, in basic terms, our efficiency, we'll call that eta, and we can define it as the useful power over the power produced, sort of this ratio. And of course, it's going to be less than 100%. Another way, the way that we could look at that is as the ratio of our power out, which is in blue here, over our power in, in pink. And um, our power in and our power out are going to relate to each other. So our power in is due to conservation of our power. It's going to be equal our power out plus any power that we've lost. And if we wanted to solve for power out in this place, we could say power out is going to be equal to our power in minus our power loss. So another way that we could rephrase this ratio up here is instead of P out, we could plug this in. So it's equal to um, P in over P in. But on the top, we're going to have to subtract the losses. So if we want to think of this sort of in terms of a circuit, we might have something like this where we have our power in over here. And say we've got these two resistors. And we'll call this our power in. And we're going to have our power out. And we're going to have our power lost. So um, the key to finding this efficiency, if you know the power in, is you've got to find out where the power loss is coming from. And if we think back to that, um, that motor that we looked at before, there are essentially four places where that, um, that power is lost. So let's go ahead and write some of those out. So first one is going to be, let's call it P brush. So as, those, um, as that rotor moves and th that brush is going to change on the commutator from one side to the other side, there's going to be some friction there and there's also going to be some sparking um, and it's, it's, there's going to be some loss with um, you know, the friction and with electrical loss there. So that's going um, to be one of them. And another one is going to be that current is going through that, that, um, that coil around the electromagnet, and that current's going to generate some heat, some I squared R. So we'll call that P I squared R, our heat. And another type of loss in this case is just going to be an electromagnetic loss from the core. So that electric field is emanating outwards, and there's some electromagnetic effects that we're going to lose a little bit of that energy. And lastly, we're just going to have what we'll call P mechanical which is just the frictional loss of the rotor or the air resistance. But imagine if you're riding your skateboard and you're not going up a hill or anything, but eventually you're going to come to a stop because of, cause maybe you need to update your bearings in your skateboard because there's some friction there and it's not 100% efficient. And that's our mechanical loss. So we got four different types of loss. So maybe a, a little bit more detailed way to, to show this um, circuit might be something like this. where you've got four different types of loss here, the loss from the brush, loss from I squared R, loss from the core, and loss from um, the m mechanical friction, and your power out. And you can imagine, based on the conservation of power, that this total power in has to equal the power added up from all of these losses plus that power out. So um, when we had this equation up here, we could, we could um, elucidate the, the power losses and say our efficiency, if we wrote it a little bit more detailed, it's going to be still P in on the top, but then we're going to have to subtract each one of these losses. So subtract the loss from the brush, from the I squared R, from the core, and from the mechanical loss. And it's all going to be over P in. Typically, a DC motor has an efficiency on the order of maybe 70 to 85 percent, um, which is pretty good considering um, you know, all these sources of loss. Um, but um, that's a basic overview of some of the things you might consider with the efficiency of a DC motor. So I hope it was helpful and until next time, take care.